Hello, hello. Good morning. How is everyone today? Hopefully you can hear me okay. Uh, welcome back in to stream. Or if you're new here, just welcome. But hello everybody, we're playing Honkai Star Rail again. Uh, I want to finish this event. <laughs> I want to get it done, get all the rewards. And yeah. I'm just going to kind of hop into it. My brain's very tired from work. Sorry, I started rubbing my eye and now I can't stop. Ugh. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, Melancholy's back. You know, we can't understand each other. Despite our efforts to communicate, our paths are destined to remain apart. If that's the case, what purpose does language serve? And our desperate cry for understanding merely an exercise in futility? Tell me, Strange Dreamsmith, do you hold any answer? Uh, no. I do not. I have no answers. Sigh. So I can't help but knock it on the door I know is closed to me. Hi, McSwileton. Welcome, Ian. Thank you for the head pat. I also give you head pat. Haha. -ha. How are you today? I hope you are well. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah, let it go. Let's simply have a drink. On the warmth of that liquid can offer some solace unto my tormented soul. Oh, I said head pat. Wow, I can't spell. Hold on, I can fix this. Head pat. Aha, there we go. Uh, if you happen to, and I mean do happen to have some decorations that can remind me of the audience back at the theater, please put it on. I'd like to see it. That's interesting. Okay, a small glass of drink that's bitter with a strong taste, with a decoration that represents Penacone's citizenry. Oh, there it goes. It lagged for a second. So, bitter, strong, decoration. One ice cube. Let's see. Let's see, there's bitter and strong. That looks weird. Nah, hold on. What if we mix these? What color does that make? That's kind of pretty. We'll go with that. And then a decoration representing Peniconians. Um. A fluff ball, maybe? <coughs> I don't think it would be the bird. Let's go with the puff ball. And hope for the best. Yay, they liked it. A wondrous masterpiece. Your hands possess an enchanting touch, effortlessly mending the wounds within me. Ah, passionate emotions are transient. I... Oh, I did read that word. Uh, the glass is empty, yet the void in my heart remains unfulfilled. Or unfilled. I can't read. Never mind. Thankfully, this delightful drink has made us acquaintances. You know, before I came to this lounge, I was a struggling actor, regulated to countless minor roles, plagued by desolation, no direction, no income, and no self-esteem. Regrets have permeated my life. Do you think I can still discover happiness? Uh, what is happiness anyway? Ha, <sighs> piercing question indeed. Happiness is but a facade, with the word oblivious to the pain and suffering concealed beneath. 
Hi, Somya! And adorable emotes. Welcome in. Just made it home. Nice. Take your time. Get comfy. Have dinner. I'm like a character in a play. Confined to mimicking the words of others. I can't change the situation or myself. The past continues to haunt me. Even in this paradise, the dreadful nightmare persists, and the sadness within me never fades. It's not something a few drinks can wash away, but... Do go on. Hey, sometimes you gotta vent, and I feel it. <sighs> it's impolite to expose my wounds without permission. It's better to share sorrows, experience joys, and bid farewell appropriately. Better make an order first. Please give me something in a large glass, as thick as you can make it, and taste a little intense. Most importantly, a little more love, please. What's the love you mentioned? <coughs> Once, I was fervently obsessed with plays, dreams woven from vibrant costumes and makeup. Unfortunately, my love became lost in the past. Based on its habits, it probably means it wants a decoration related to cartoon characters. Flare with the glass! Ah, uh, we still dropped it. Okay. So a large glass. Um, ice. So very thick and strong. Hmm. Let's see, what do I want to do with this? Oh, that is a dark color. Nope, that's ugly. Clear. Oh, that's a prettier color. Let's see. Let's go with this. And this. No, I don't like that either. Hold on. Let's try this. It's a lighter color with a bit more pink. And then... We'll top it off with that. I think that's okay. It's still not very pretty. But it's hard. I think it's, it's more difficult when it has to be thick. But it looks cute with Robin. Oh, no, I can't use Robin. Uh, let's see. We'll do Brother Hanu. That's cute. Oh, good. They like it. <coughs> oh, time. Cease your march. This drink is so exquisite and I yearn to savor its flavor for the remainder of my days. Despite the sorrow clouding my heart, your kindness and drink mixing mastery have deeply impressed me. Uh, farewell, always carry a tinge of bitterness, but please, do not lament our encounter. Bye, Melancholy. Melancholy's mood doesn't seem to be getting any better, but it feels like its trust in me has deepened. Okay, you're here now. Welcome in, Somia. How are you? How am I? I'm doing good. Um, glad to be home. Oh, thank you for my blanket. Uh, I am good. I decided that... My tummy's kind of upset. I ate something a little weird yesterday, and it's been upset all day, so I'm just not going to go to work tomorrow. Uh, we should have enough people to cover. 
So, I am happy because I get to stay home. <laughs> I get to stream, and then I get to hang out. And, yeah. Couldn't agree more. Glad to be home now, too. Yay! I hope you're comfy. Are you going to grab your dinner? Being happy is good. Keep doing it? Yeah, I'll try. But how are you doing today? Are you doing alright? Hopefully better than yesterday? Uh, hello there. We meet again. Uh, that melancholic customer just left. Hehe, <laughs> why so serious? You've been a drinksmith for quite a while, and I'm sure you know better than you speak your mind. Well, I came to see you because I heard something interesting and wanted to share it. Well, if you're not interested, then forget it. Alright, forget it then. You really don't want to hear it? Fine, I'll just head home. Nope, let's just forget it. Even so, I still want to tell you. Isn't part of being a drinksmith's job to listen to your customers? If you slack off, I might have to file a complaint with Siobhan. Alright, I don't want to risk losing my job. <laughs> Great. But I'm feeling a bit thirsty now. Can you make me a drink first? Mm, this time, I want an uplifting and refreshing drink that I like. Don't add too much ice. I've been feeling under the weather recently. In a bit, you had a burger from a new place, and they made it so fresh it burned your tongue a little. Oh no, but it was good. Yay! Also, too much Coca-Cola intake today. I feel that. I had a soda before work, and it was... I don't drink soda very often anymore. I was like... It was weird because I was sleepy, but I was bouncy because it was carbonated and I liked it so much. Oh, she used to ask for a lot of ice cubes, but she doesn't need any this time because she hasn't brought up any embarrassing topics. Nice. I had chicken nuggets today earlier and they were delicious. Let's see. Uplifting and refreshing. Let's do a large glass. Hmm. If yesterday you were mentally exhausted, add physical exhaustion to that today. Oh no, that's not doing better. Well, I hope now that you're home, you can get comfy and your day will improve. Or if anything, at least you're home and you can get comfy. Let's see, he's slightly sweet and mellow. Slightly sweet. Mella. Oh, wrong one. Shoot. Slightly sweet. And mellow. There we go. And then they want refreshing. Mm, I don't know if that's very pretty. Uh, just like to give an example, you know, I'm dark skinned, right? My wrist where my watch was is white. That hot and that much exertion today. Oh no. And yeah, just fucking happy to be in your room. I get that. I do not do well in warm weather. We're gonna try this concoction again. Um, but jeez. Can you make me a drink too? Oh, I would love to. And then I have to find a way to get it out to you. Oops, that's the wrong. I am not hitting the right buttons at all. There we go. Stare. And what kind of drink would you like, Somya? That's not bad. That's a that's a kind of pretty drink. Oh, did only have to be one refreshing. Ah, okay. Let's try this again. Let's try this again. Okay, so slightly sweet, 
Stir. You decide I trust your judgment. I don't know. I, this is, what, my second, third time making the same drink? I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> Let's see. Third time's the charm. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Hmm. Let's see, that fulfills all the requirements, but it's not, it's, it's so not pretty. I don't like that. We're going to try again. Let's try... That one for mellow. So I can do this for slightly sweet. Just don't add the goat milk in the drink. I know, it's... The hard part is getting this to... The minus one. I think. I could... Mm. What if I did this? Ah, uh, no. That didn't work either. I did it in the wrong order. Okay. Wait. Let's... These are sweet. And these are my two options for mellow. Hmm. This one doesn't add any thickness. What would it look like if I mixed it with this one? Okay, okay. It's like a it's like a goldenish color, still a slightly weird green, but a goldish color. Man, that would be a perfect drink as it is, but I can't do that. I gotta fill it the rest of the way. Um hmm. Looks like cops here if you had before. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I can see how that would look like cops here if it kind of requ uh, reminds me of Dayquil. <laughs> That looks so weird. That's so bright in comparison, but it technically works. It technically works. You kind of like it. It's... I wish I could mix the top to like, kind of make it look a little more streamlined, but I think this is the best we're going to get. So, we're gonna go with it. Ah, oh, I forgot I gotta choose one of these. Okay. We could put a lemon on it. Oh, the mint's kinda cute. It's like a- it's a very big contrasting color. We got our burb. I don't think I wanna go with the picture. You think the mint looks nice too? Yeah, we'll- we'll do that. We'll go with the mint. There we go. Pretty special drink. 
This tastes amazing! You still understand me so well. If only you could stay here forever by my side. Well, now that I've finished my drink, time to share that interesting story with you. Actually, I stumbled upon Siobhan's secret by chance. Uh, care to explain? I was wandering around the hotel in the dreamscape when I spotted a gorgeously dressed lady searching for something. It's rare to come across a night sighted in this place, so I followed her for a while. Then I overheard her murmuring something, like... She wanted to hang out with Siobhan, but had to be turned down multiple times, so she decided to come straight to the lounge. She even said Siobhan would definitely accept her offer this time, as if they've known each other for ages. Aw, thank you for the head pat, Somya. And thank you for giving Bebot a head pat. If you were in that lady's shoes, would you keep trying to contact Siobhan? Let's see. Thank you for your invitation. What is that supposed to mean? I don't know. Let's click that. Oh, that's tough. Even if you say that, it's not easy to suppress what's on your mind. I'm sharing this with you because I'm also holding on to many secrets, and I'm hesitant to reveal them. But then again, I'm too timid, and those words get stuck in my throat and swallowed back. Should I ask him out and boldly express my feelings to him? Seize the chance! Hmm, but it's not that simple. I'd like to bother for you to... Uh, I can't read. I'd like to bother you to make a drink that's very slightly bitter in a small glass, and it has to taste really mellow. Just a little ice will do. Just like my current mood. Upset. Is she worrying about something related to melancholy? Let's start by making ice cubes. You spend plenty of energy trying to chisel the ice in a neatly cylindrical shape, only to find that it won't fit in the glass. Okay, so... Small. Less ice. One, one cube. Okay, slightly bitter and very mellow. Let's see... I mean, the ice would fit. Just give it some time. <laughs> That's true. That is true. It'll fit eventually. Let's see. I want to know what these would look like if they were mixed together. And... Mix it with that. We're just going to stir these and see what ugly color it comes up with. That is a weird vibe of colors. Nope, we're getting rid of that. Okay. Let's do this instead. That is a very vibrant purple. That's not bad. We'll go with that. I think the lemon slice is okay. Lemon or mint. Yeah. Oh, the mint is... Vi that vibrant green is so nice. What do you guys think? Lemon or mint? Which one? I think the mint is prettiest. I like how green it is. So you knew some colors you'd say mint too? Yeah, I agree. I, this, this is very cute. Oh, look how adorable it is. It is such a bright color. I love it. Good choice. Fantastic! This drink is exactly what I wanted. You truly understand me the best. Talking has made me feel much better. It seems your talent for conversation matches your skill in mixing drinks. If only I could chat with him as effortlessly as you. Well, you're drunk while you're talking to me, so... Nevertheless, I must take action. I'll come up with a plan. Wait for my good news. Lady decides to find melancholy. Hope the conversation just now can help, make, help it make up its mind. It was quite willing to share its inner thoughts with me.
Yay! No other customers now. I'm a bit tired. Let's call it a day. Oh. Starlet. Phew. Phew. We're just gonna go back and forth. Are you simple or something? What's happening? A real person here? I thought Siobhan put a drink mixer here. Are you trying to start a fight? Yes. <laughs> you can even find talking billboards in the dreamscape. Who knows if you're a real person or not. There's a noisy dice and a stupid alarm clock. Once you've seen too many animated objects, you'll struggle to tell them apart from real people. So, what brings you here? Drinks, of course. Didn't Siobhan tell you? Give me a glass of Paper Moon. Since you want to be a drinksmith here, let's see what you're made of. You're a big shot at the lounge, I guess? Just plain? Yeah. There's no status difference here, but it's true I usually take care of the others. I want a glass of Paper Moon. Don't forget. His words always imply something. Siobhan has never mentioned that Starlet could be difficult to get along with. It's been a while since I just got to follow instructions. I'm so glad. Blossom dew and milk. And then a puffball. Oh, he was really happy. Not bad at all. Now I see Siobhan did find someone decent to take her place. What did Siobhan tell you? To fix this up? You've been working here for a while, so what do you think of those monsters? They're all pretty close family members. You still don't understand how milk works in this, but then you've also seen people add eggs in drinks. I don't know. I don't know either. Uh, but I've heard of that before too. It's not always usually milk, but like with alcohol drinks, it'll be like a cream or something like creamer similar to like what you put in coffee so i know people do it i've never tried it i really don't drink enough to know anything i just i just care that the the milk in this doesn't look pretty enough <laughs> it makes my drinks ugly uh the word family carries a lot of weight don't throw it around lightly uh i'm being serious do you expect me to believe that they look pretty unique, although they're a bit eccentric and have their own emotional problems. They can be quite adorable once you get used to them. Is that what you're thinking now? Yes. Forget it. You won't give me an answer even if I asked. Humans are all good at lying. And their words don't hold any water. You're the one who asked first. Make me another drink. And an extra large glass, dreamy, with a thick texture. Is this request too difficult for you? Feels like he's not just here for a drink, but more like testing me? Alright, you got a boss. Extra large. With a dreamy base. So that'll be slightly sweet and strong. Let's see. What will it look like if we mix these together? It's an interesting color. I don't think, I don't know how I feel about that color. Um, and it needs to be thick. Yeah, now hold on, let's clear that. Um, let's do this instead. That's an easier color base to start with. Man, that would be perfect as it is. Okay, I got three slots to fill. I need it to sit at one.
I know, the red sunset sauce is way too dark. But most of these aren't very thick. Well, I guess I could do what they've been doing and just top it off with milk. It doesn't look bad. It's not my favorite. I think a lot of these would probably look uglier because it'll be really dark colors and we'll just go with this one, I think. Let's see. I think the lemon's okay. We'll go with the lemon. And they liked it. Good. It's indeed the flavor I was hoping for. Your drinksmith skills are more impressive than I expected. Well, making great drinks is not all about managing this lounge. There are more, way more problems to deal with here than you expected. Soon, you'll know what I mean. Starlet is behaving normally. It just doesn't seem to like me. Being a drinksmith is actually exhausting. How did Siobhan manage to keep at it for so long? Huh? They're still at the lounge. Well, hey there. It's a bit awkward, but I need to ask you a favor. I'm the most caring drinksmith here. Oh, I'm really fond of your gentle type. Alas, if only he could be as caring as you are. It's... well, it's... I have no idea why she asked me to stay here. This is just depressing. Why is it always me? There are so many other monsters, but she asked me to sit alone in this corner after business hours. She's trying to bully me or something? And tomorrow she'll go around spreading my embarrassing story and ostracize me, right? Like, come on, you actually thought receiving a note meant someone was confessing their love to you? Or, that fool actually fell for it. Did you see the nervous and expectant look on his face? Priceless. Oh, then she's not trying to bully you. Now, I'm not trying to bully you. I, I just want to... Oh, now she's crying. What's going on here? I should talk to them separately and find out what they really think. Well, it's, he's too depressed to realize someone's in love with him. And she's too upset because she's in love with him and he's not reciprocating her feelings. Uh... Let's fix Melancholy first. I think his is a bit more troublesome. It's so frustrating. Why do they have to make fun of me? Isn't there already enough sadness in the world? What a world. I had nowhere to go. Now that I've finally found a peaceful place, they want to bully me. There, there. I know it's awkward, but I can't just shake off my grief. I've got to figure out a way to calm him down. Let's delve into his inner world. Don't worry, I'll help you. We're coming, buddy boy. I'm sad his first assumption is always that people are gonna bully him. Poor guy. This is so pretty. Man, the EOS scripts take a while to load. We did this yesterday, too. Nobody likes me. I'm just a standing joke. I'm feeling so cold. So lonely. I'm coming. I'll be your friend. Just wait for me. Ooh, okay. There's my mouse. We're coming, buddy. There you go. There you go. Aha! It is pretty? Yeah. 
I love a lot of the artwork in this game. They, they've done an immaculate job. Look, we made it! Huh? Someone's coming over. See? I'm coming for you. Miss Drinksmith, how did you get here? I work in mysterious ways. You, an ordinary person. You're my superhero. It's so touching. Ah, oh, he's gonna cry more. I'm not feeling so sorrowful anymore. Look, even my wings are starting to flutter. Life feels full of joy since I met you. The tragedy is finally ending and the comedy is about to begin. Uh, embrace your new life then. By the way, Lady said she had something for me. She wouldn't be trying to bully. No, no, I should stay positive. I've got to remind myself that everyone likes me. Maybe not to that extent. Yeah, let's go. Toward a sweet future. Yeah, I wish somebody could go in and fix my internal emo skate. I want to be able to, like, be happy like that on a dime. That would be too easy. I'm pretty sure we should be close to done with this event. Can I fix yours? I would love to try. But I, it might be hard because mine's broken too. I don't think I have that clocky magic. Alright, lady, it's your turn. It's, it's, you know... I, I wanted to ask him to hang out, but I don't know how. Or, I don't know how to go about it. Only if. Yeah. Someday. Maybe someday, Somia. Uh, just be honest and tell him how you feel. I'm good at chatting with people I don't care about. When it comes to someone I do, how can I say something so embarrassing? Dude, I feel that. I can still barely talk to my husband about, like, stuff. It's, yeah, it's, I get it. What about me? It means you don't care about me. <laughs> Yikes, are you being jealous or something? Think about it. All the monsters here like you. Isn't it amazing to have such happiness all at once? Morning, Mei Mei! Welcome in! Oh, you're up early. It's only 7. How are ya? You just getting out of bed. Rubbing the sleep from your eyes. Say hi to Porgy for us. I'm just... Well, I'm used to saying things that can make people blush, but when it comes to the moment of truth, I just can't speak out what I really want to say. Hey there, don't you have some awesome powers? Can you dive into my heart and see what it's blocking me? You're gonna listen but lay down. The room's spitting bad. Oh no. Try to drink some water if you can. Yeah, be careful, okay? Being dizzy is not fun. I, I don't like it. What are my true feelings? Oh, that went away fast. Rare for you, being dizzy? That's good. Being That being rare is good. Thanks, you try water? Good. And maybe if you feel up to it, trying a snack too. I know that sounds kind of weird, but sometimes when I'm dizzy, it turns out I just forgot to eat. And that makes me like lightheaded, which makes me dizzy. So if you have, like, a, a snack nearby, that might help, too. But water's usually the, the main one I, I attempt with. Every time I see them, I get super nervous. That's interesting. It just provided me a button. If I reveal my true feelings so easily, won't I seem too impatient? Okay, I figured she was going to move. I was like, that was too easy. 
Tiffy and coming in 45 minutes, she helps you. Okay, that's good. Let's see, I need to get over there. Let's... This wall might connect. Let's try this one. It did not. It didn't go the right way at all. I was completely wrong. Okay, let's try this wall. My heart is pounding. I want to chat with them, but the words won't come out. Oh, there you are. I keep wondering, but never get an answer. I want to be reassured. Finally, I got the courage to invite them to stay in the lounge. Hmm. Aha. Oh, uh, what in the world should I do? I can't even utter a word. Aw, you found my true heart! You're pure and innocent deep down. It's easy to get hurt if you just tell others what's in your heart. Anyway, thanks for helping me figure out my true feelings. I won't run away anymore. Yay. That is a lot of drinks. Well, some of those were just ingredients, but still. More to play with. Then I'll take my leave, alright? Thanks to you, you've been so kind. Alright, enough with the public display of affection. He, <laughs> a gentle person like you will be popular wherever you go. If you ever feel lonely, I'll ask you out next time. But for now, please give us your blessing. Not long after the lounge had returned to calmness, cries for help so Oh. Okay. I'm not inviting you. Yikes, please, someone, help us! A cry for help. Is it coming from outside the lounge? Man, those dark screens never usually cut off. That was surprising. Oh, I need to go- I need to go downstairs. Um. How do I go downstairs? Oh, down here. Oh, you, what are you doing? Well, I don't want to die yet. I just decided to live a happy life from now on. I don't want... C calm down, darling. I I'll protect you. Starlet, what are you doing? Woof, get back to your senses. You, you don't recognize us? No, oh, apparently not. Woof, I won't let you harm them. Come help, new drinksmith. Starlet lost his mind. Starlet, what happened? You were fine last time. Who hurt you? Oh, this is leading to a full-on battle. Oh, okay. Do not be afraid. Heaven search. Rise. Awaken Thorin Scale. World cleansing dragon. <laughs> There's no time to lose. Conflict is pitiless. I'll go easy this time. Is that it? What kind of bar is this? Oh, apparently a combative one. I mean, I guess technically we're right outside the bar. If you want to get te or actually technically we went to the stairs underneath the bar. 
I guess it depends how you look at it. Let's play hide and seek. Can you find the answer? No matter. Yin and Yang. All things in this world have human creations. I sense a storm. Heaven search. Break. Okay, the doggos are taken care of. Conflict is pitiless. <laughs> Time for show no mercy. Feeling spiffy? The strength. Search. Oh, he called more doggos Christ. over. Awaken dormant scales. World cleansing dragon. <laughs> Almost got him. A quick divination. <laughs> Here, there's thunder. I sense a storm. Almost there. There we go. That's it. Well, wake up. What happened? How could this be? How? Even the wisest thinker among us has lost his sanity. As I thought, it is indeed that happiness is transient while sorrow seems everlasting. Who can tell me? If we are doomed for ruin, why were we brought into this illusory sweet dream in the first place? He was fine the last time we met. Why did he suddenly become frenzied? I should inform Siobhan as soon as possible. What should we do? You're a smart one, new drinksmith. There must be something you can do. Uh, let's bring him back to the lounge first. Woof, I'll lend a paw. Aw, oh, Mr. Bigwig, you've become so helpful. And sweet. And I got a lot of stuff out of that. Woof, looks like he's okay. He's a regular at the lounge, but why did he lose his mind all of a sudden? Will I end up like that someday? That's scary. Ah, we'll all meet our destined end someday. Woof, why isn't Siobhan here at a time like this? What is she doing, Woof? I'll stay with you guys. Oh, don't cry, Mr. Bigwig. We'll go back for now, Woof. As for you, new drinksmith, stay safe, alright? The monsters all left the lounge one after another, not long after. Man, those are fast. I've received your message. How are the monsters doing? You tell Siobhan about what happened in the hotel in the dreamscape. When you mention the frenzied monsters, he knows that she doesn't seem all that surprised. Instead, a touch of fatigue appears on her calm face, as if she has been expecting it. I just checked on him. Nothing serious. He'll regain his senses soon. I'm sorry. I didn't see it coming. Thank you for your help. Are you hiding something from me? Chill out. I just came back, and I'm a bit tired. You're a skilled drinksmith, so how about whipping up a drink for me? Let's start with you. What would you like to know? Uh, the tr true nature of the monsters. Hey, don't rush things. To answer your question is way too nuanced. How am I supposed to answer them all in one go? feel a bit parched. Make me a refreshing drink to keep it mild. I'll leave the rest to you. Trust your mixology skills. Yeah, I just went in combat and now you're making me make a drink. You can have a mini glass. Refreshing and very few flavors. Have this almost electric green color. Nah, I don't like that. That's not pretty at all. Ew. 
Again, cough syrup. Oh, this one's not bad. It's kind of cough syrup. But it almost looks like a soda. And it's still cough syrup. But we're gonna go with it. I feel like the mint is my go-to. It just, it works well with pretty much everything. I'm just, I, I'm gonna do the mint again. It's cute. You know what this reminds me of? I had this soda that's like an apple soda. It was delicious. Hmm. Tasting the drinks you make always brings back memories. You didn't secretly use your magical ability on me, did you? Does the mint or the lemon add any flavor scent? Or is there just for scent? I think it's just for scent. Um, I don't think it adds to the flavor any. Or at least it doesn't say it does. I think it's like a decoration, technically. But the scent is probably nice. Uh, just kidding. I say that because as long as I sit opposite you, I feel super relaxed like I'm in a warm, cozy dream. Unfortunately, dreams don't last forever. Just like this hotel. You met show. Sorry, tired. No, you're all good. It made sense regardless. I'm sorry. I should have explained everything about this dream jolt holstery better. Those monsters don't show aggression most of the time because of your drinks. The drinks offered here can stabilize their emotions, helping them resist the nightmare corruption to some extent. Uh, what if we stop making them drinks? Just as you saw, they'll lose their sanity and start attacking everything around them until... until they're beyond recovery. Even with my drinks, they still descend into a frenzy from time to time, and it's happening more frequently now. The entire dreamscape is collapsing, and we're just futilely trying to delay its impact, like pouring cold water into a pot about to boil over. The situation of this lounge is far from promising. So that's why Starlet became frenzied. Well, their situation is a bit different. They have experienced too many tragic events, so they're naturally wary of strangers in the lounge. Don't be fooled by their mature look. Deep down, they're still a dependent kid. They're just too wary to completely trust you right away, so don't take it personally. I'm sure they'll open up and show their true feelings once you two become more familiar with each other. As for me, well, soothing emotions is what the family is used to doing, so there's nothing complex about that. You used to be their administrator. Yeah, I mentioned that before, but not anymore. The Sweet Dreams troop members are props entertaining the guests. No guests would want to hang out with a bunch of monsters that could go wild at any moment. So, I lost my job and can only stay in the lounge taking care of these quirky kids. To me, they're like my family, and I'm not leaving them behind. You've gotten so good at mixing drinks. Maybe I can trust you with this lounge. Do not trust me with an entire lounge. That's not a good idea. As the dreamscape collapses faster, more monsters will go frenzied. The drinks we whip up will only calm them down temporarily, and we have no idea what this whole mess will end. Are you feeling tired? Perhaps. Sometimes I can't help but wonder what my true desire is. Life isn't simple, even in a dream. And hard work doesn't always pay off. That's just how the world works. I've got some troubles I need to sort out. Please take care of those kids while I'm gone. I hope you enjoy it here. I do, but don't leave me your bar. That's not a good idea. Woof, this way, come this way. I got something to show you. Hi, Pico. Pico, you gotta commit. You gotta jump up. <laughs> and knock all my stuff off the counter. That's fine. Just lay down, please. Woof, don't you think Siobhan has been acting suspiciously lately? She's never run the lounge these days. Where's she gone? I'm curious, too. I knew you'd feel the same way. As you know, Siobhan is an amazing woman, so we've, we've been wondering. Since she's been away a lot lately, could it be that she doesn't want us anymore? We've been a pain in the neck lately and caused a lot of trouble. Maybe she's not into us anymore. She always says she's busy with something, but never spills the beans. Come to think of it, 
Siobhan never mentioned what she's been busy with. Hey, new drinksmith. Let's go outside and find Siobhan. It'd be great if we could help her out. Uh, I need to finish my work at the lounge first. Woof, no problem. Let me make some preparations and figure out where Siobhan might be. It's a deal, woof. I've promised to look for Siobhan, but I need to finish the lounge work first. If I remember correctly, Starla is the only one who is still troubled by its problem, right? I like you guys on a stage. Dreams are never simple. Yeah. Also, hi, Pico. Pico, so I'm just as high. Pico started purring, so he says hello back. I wonder how Starla is doing. Will he show up today? As curious as I am, I should get the business started first. Alright, but before we move on with the story, we got we got drink deductions. You're melting. Aw, Pico, you're melting Somia. That or Somia is melting from the heat. I'm not sure. Hopefully it's from adorableness. And not not the sun. Uh let's see. We are on Rose in Rain. Okay. This one looks like it's like four colors. This is so dark. So I think that's two of these. And I think it's just one of everything else. Right? It's 8 p.m. here in your room. Oh, okay, it's from Pico Purring. Oh, okay, good. I was like, oh no, Somia went back into the sun. And you're gonna melt away. But no, you're good. That's good. There we go. Nice and easy. Imagine sunrise. Let's see. Ooh, okay. Let's see. Is it these two? Because it looks kind of almost brown. Yeah, there we go. And then this one. And then Stellar Champagne. Yeah, that looks right. And then that looks like a hamster night. It's interesting we haven't gotten more decorations. We're just getting more drink ingredients. And prolonged past. Oh, this is the last one. Let's see. I'm going to say it's two of these. Or one, one, two, and then stir. And then this one, and this one. Yeah, there we go. See, it helps that they only give you the ones that you need. I don't have to figure it out from like, is it? Yeah, that's clocky. I don't have to figure it out from the entire list of ingredients, which is nice. Okay, that's all of those. So back to- Oh! Pico! I thought he was going to take my headphones. Whew. Okay. For how expensive and high-end your laptop is, it sure bugs in the stupidest ways. Oh no. The keyboard stopped working temporarily, and it happens when the manufacturer's software is present. When you didn't have the software, it worked fine. Once you installed it, the bug came back. Oh no. You need wireless headphones? I do. I really do. I'll need to save up for some. Uh, yeah, Pico gets on these all the time. It happens, what, almost every stream? 
He almost always unplugs my headphones. <laughs> but that sucks that your computer... The main software is what's causing you to have a bug. That's annoying. Maybe, maybe you'll get lucky and they'll create a patch so it'll go away? I doubt it if you've had it before from the last time, but... That sucks. Uh, oh, Tin Man's back. Greetings. I'm here for a drink, and this time I'd like... I'd like... My visit here won't cause you any trouble, will it? What would you like? Okay, I want an extra large glass that's sweet and has plenty of color. Thanks for the trouble. Uh, wait, so many requirements? Please pardon me, it's my pursuit of beauty. 2000 USD, nope, it's been a bug for years. Oh no, that's even worse. That sucks. And $2,000? That's even, that's even worse. It's so much money for something that's essentially coming with a bug. Oh no. Uh, in my opinion, vibrant and bright things are beautiful, while chaotic and monotonous things are ugly. While Siobhan said I have to have a drink, I think it's more interesting to add a touch of fun. Didn't expect it to become so serious after resolving its emotional issues. Extra large. No fewer than three colors. But also vibrant and bright things are dangerous in nature. That's true. I mean, this is alcohol. Maybe it'll end up being dangerous instead. And he only wants it slightly sweet. Let's see, we could start by making it really not sweet, and then adding sweetness back into it. Let's see... What if I did that, and that, and then I mixed it? No, but no, I messed that up. Then I can't get it back to one without having to use- the milk is the sweetest thing. And we we don't like the milk. That's also not a very pretty color. Let's start that over. I think I still want to start with the odd concoction on the bottom. Let's add the practitioner pepper here. Mix that together to make it lighter. Oh, that's such a brown color. That's not pretty at all. Nope. What if these were pretty, right? Last time we mixed them together? Kind of. It's very brown. Purple brown. Ugh, that's still not pretty. I want it to be pretty. See, I can't really use any of these very- well, I could. But, hmm.
What color does this come to? Oh, thank you for the stretch. Oh, I popped my back. Oh, that felt nice. That was a good stretch. Oh, that's so dark. I don't like it. I'm just playing with colors at this point, trying to see if I can find something I like. Oh, but that doesn't get that doesn't even get sweet enough. Okay, we're not using odd concoction, I don't think. It's it's just not pretty. What do these look like together? Okay. That's kind of pretty. It fits all the requirements. But I feel like we can do better. Hold on. But that was a start. That was definitely a start. I don't think I've even used this yet. Oh, that is dark color. No sound at the moment, but I work lurking. Okay, thank you for the lurk, Al. I know you can't hear me, but welcome in. Oh, nope. Now that's not going to be sweet enough. Messed up again. Let's see. I'm, pl I'm literally just playing with colors now. Mm, nope, not pretty. Na what if I just don't mix anything? Hold on. Let's add two of those. That's kind of pretty. That one's actually kind of pretty if I just don't mix anything. It kind of works. Yeah, I again, I feel like we could do better. We have so many here. Hmm. I'm just adding. I'm just adding things now. That's got five colors. Right there. Because I poured all different drinks. That definitely looks interesting. <laughs> I don't know if it's pretty. Uh... I'm curious what, like... Ooh, with the lemon, maybe. That actually, between these, that actually kind of looks cool now with the lemon. I think we'll serve this. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. We're gonna serve it. Let's see if they like it. And they do, because we hit all the criteria. <laughs> Your mixing skills are as excellent as ever. I really enjoyed this drink. Don't worry, it only you only watched me dump out like six drinks getting to that one. 
My mind has become so clear since we last talked. Is this what salvation feels like? To repay your kindness, I did something incredibly daring. Tin Man being nice, right? Isn't it surprising? I lied to that frenzied fool and told him that Siobhan had called them to the lounge. I believe they'll show up any minute now. I believe you'll be able to handle the situation when they arrive. Why did you help us? Because you saved me from going down the wrong path. So naturally, I should help your business in return. Oh yeah, he's nice because we helped him. With his emotions. Hee <laughs> hee, as a reward, can you make me another drink? This time I want a large glass with a strong taste and thick texture with a few more layers of color. Yep, there it is. Is this too much to ask for? If it's too much trouble, I'll change it right away. They've been so polite to me. I'll just fulfill this request. Move the mixer first. Hey, hey, your fingers are really nimble. If you're free, can I trouble you to turn the pointer for me? Its personality has really changed a lot. Alright. Three color layers. Large glass. Ice. So strong, thick, three colors. Let's see. That's so bright. Nah, that that's not pretty at all. Let's put the dream jam on the bottom. Hmm. A lot of these just turn it from a vibrant color to a very like pale color. Oh, I forgot. I need three layers of color. I can't do that. Hold on. Let's do that. My cats are just ruining my house right now. Oh, that's ugly. Mmm. Forget what these two look like together. Turns to a really weird green color. Ah, uh, let's see. Strong and thick with three colors. Uh, let's let's do a different base. We can use pink. What if we did the pink and the red? Oh, our thickness is so high though with that. Hmm. It's really high. Let's see, that fits the criteria. I don't think it's, it's, it's interesting. But. Hmm. It's a lot harder with it being in a smaller glass. Let's see. Let's try again, but I'll try to remember that mix in case we can't figure anything prettier out. I wonder... Let's say I use that. That's so bright. Let's 
Jealousy. Everything that gets rid of stuff is just, just like so thick. Hmm. This is so difficult. No, I can't add anything else or I'll lose... Ah, okay. Hold on. Oh, it's so dark. That's so dark. Oh, I don't, I don't like that. I want to try that again. Let's do this one instead. Oh, that's... No. That doesn't work either. Yeah, <laughs> that's a horrible color. No, thank you. No, thank you. We're getting rid of that. What do these two looks like mixed together? Interesting. That's a nice deep color. So I need to reduce the thickness though, but add intensity. Hmm. Oh, now it's not strong enough. Ah, oh, I feel like we almost had it. Nope, that's not the one I did. What did I do? This one. And this one? Yeah. And then, let's try this again. Ugh, such a ugly brown color. Man, this is hard. That's not pretty either. Okay, what if I just did four colors like I did before? I what if I just don't mix anything? So, let's start... Sorry everyone, the drink smith is hyper-focused on the drink's color. Please place your order and wait in the lounge. Absolutely. It has to be pretty. It needs to be pretty. These just don't blend well. Is 
Like, I could always do... That's so ugly looking. But like... Oh, that didn't work either. Nope, I can't even... I can't even be like, oh, I could just do this, and I messed that up too. Why does it have to have so many of these... I feel like they, I, this isn't as bad as some of the other ones, but I still don't like it. No, that's not pretty. Hmm. No. It just it's it's all wrong. Hmm. Oh, that makes it too strong, though. Is it this hard just to have a pretty drink? There! There! That's not as bad. We'll go with that one. We'll go with that one. That way you guys aren't overly bored of me doing this. That is a pretty-ish drink. I still don't like the bottom, but it's okay. It will do. But they loved it, and that's what matters. Aha! It's so delightful, it feels like all the gears in my body are shaking, and every corner of my insides has been lubricated. I'm feeling so satisfied. Thank you for the treat. That fool will be here soon. He's a Here's a piece of advice. When you talk to them, try to make them reveal their true thoughts. People, please take your drink and free the drink, Smith. <laughs> yes, please. What they say is completely different from what they really think. I hate that type. Unlike me, I never hide my fiery soul. Tin Man, you have like a 360 personality change. <laughs> I'll take my leave now. Good luck with your conversation. Oh, okay. Alright, now that I've resolved all the other monsters' problems, it's time to have a chat with Starlet. That alarm clock was lying about Siobhan calling me over, right? Well, if you got something to say, then say it. Uh, why do you suddenly go all frenzied? It's got nothing to do with you. Looks like we'll be talking for quite a while. Get me a drink first, the same one I ordered the first time. Do you still remember it? Yeah. Not really. Look how foolish you are. I'll just tell you, it's Paper Moon. Don't get it wrong this time. I didn't get it wrong last time.
A mini wine glass. Less ice. Ice so glad. Some blossom dew. And then milk. And a pepeshi. Well, this is exactly what I wanted, and its flavor remains the same. You do seem to have a good memory. I actually recalled a lot of things. I ordered the same drink because Siobhan remembers the preferences of all the monsters here. She remembers clearly what flavors each monster likes, and what requirements they have for their drinks. We may have quirky tastes that we even ourselves don't recall for the reason for, but she just remembers them. It's amazing. So were you just trying to test me? Hmm. Then do you remember what the other monsters like? Let's see. Spade. Spade liked ice. No. There's nothing special about it. Yeah, they're emotionally unstable and can't remember complex things. They're like most likely to throw a fit. They need to be treated like a kid. And sometimes they need a lesson. However, they're pure in character and can become happy just from getting their favorite drink. Melancholy likes... Decorations. Yeah, they used to be a delusioned actor. So deep in their role, they don't have any normal thoughts other than reciting lines that nobody can understand. Have they ever told you about their love? Well, it's actually a prop box from their time in the theater. Filled with beautiful jewelry. Not expensive, but a memento. Unfortunately, they lost that box when they got kicked out. Bigwig! Mr. Bigwig liked... What did Mr. Bigwig like? Noth I don't think he liked anything specific. Yeah, they're not picky about flavors. They're very easygoing and are closest to Siobhan. Lady liked ice cubes. Yeah, it loves saying things that could cause misunderstandings, but deep down, it's so shy that it has to use ice cubes to cool down its circuits. He thought he hid those thoughts well, but everyone saw right through it. Don't even ask, I remember it all vividly. This lounge hasn't been around for long, but it's already filled with so many memories. Where is Tin Man? Oh, that pompous alarm clock, let's not mention him. When someone tries to mess with this place, he's always the first one to jump in and stop the trouble. It's all kind of mundane, but looking back on it, it's fun. Oh, just look at me chattering away. Make me another drink, please. I want a drink that's large, very sweet, and tastes mellow. Best if it's refreshing. Perhaps I need to calm down. Ah, oh, we flipped the glasses this time! The glass makes a per eight perfect flips in midair and lands firmly back in your hand. You did it! All your efforts have finally come to fruition! You finally did it! <laughs> Seems like you're quite something. We finally tossed the glass in the air without breaking it. Eight flips, right? That's so many! How high did we toss it? Alright, let's see. Let's go with less ice. Very sweet, mellow, and refreshing. Let's see. How did it not break, right? Well, we we managed to catch it. Somehow. <laughs> let's see, let's do that. And then we just gotta make it very sweet. We just gotta keep the thickness balanced. Man, I wish I could throw a glass in the air and it just, like, perfectly land. Let's see... Nope, that's not pretty. It needs to be pretty! What do these look like together? That's still nostalgic. It's a very dark yellow. Let's 
Uh, I think that's too much. Yeah, no, that's not refreshing. Hmm. That's right, I need it to be mellow. Which means it's gotta be one of these. Oh, it's not sweet enough. Hold on. Hmm. Okay, I'm just playing around with the top color at this point. So I can't really change the bottom one too much. But I could also just do this and make it a very pink drink. Oh no, now it's not refreshing. Oops. Dang it! Okay, I think I was on the right track because I could just do this. Because then if I add the stellar champagne, it won't change the amount of refreshing it is. So we'll do that. I think it's cute with the Papashi ball. We'll do that. That way we're not spending forever on me trying to make a pretty drink. It tastes great. I've been observing you for quite a while, and you're becoming more and more like a skilled drinksmith. Now that I've said so much, it's your turn now. A good drinksmith shouldn't just listen. They should also be able to guess what's on their customer's mind. You've been in this lounge for some time. What have you noticed? Uh, you really care about this lounge. Why did you say that? Uh, you really care about the other monsters. You're sharp for a temporary drinksmith. What else have you figured out? Tell me. Actually, you didn't go frenzied back then, right? Go on. You didn't harm those monsters. Get me a large glass with a touch of brokenness and a hint of sweetness, but at the same time, it needs to have a thick texture. What? <laughs> Keep at it. Looks like I'm getting close to what they're really thinking. So I was getting close to what they were saying, so they wanted a huge amount of drink. Okay. So a large glass. Let's do a wine glass. Actually, I think when it's thick, I think it looks better in this one. Now, we'll do a wine glass anyway. Ice. Okay, so slightly bitter and strong. Let's see. Slightly bitter. And something strong. And then we need slightly sweet and thick. Hmm. Oh, that went the wrong way. Jeez, okay. Hold on. Let's try that again. Maybe let's try to use this one this time, so it's not... 
Oh, no, wait. I can't do that. Hold on. Right. I need to do this first. So, strong. I need something with strong. And then slightly sweet and thick. Hey, welcome back, Pico. Let's see. What do I want to do? I need it to go the other way. Thank you for the hydrate, Somia. Ah, okay. Let's see. I don't think this is gonna work. I need the thickness to go up. No. Okay. Maybe I need to try something different for the base. What do I have down here? I could do this for strong and slightly bitter. That'll still make broken. Slightly sweet and thick. Let's see. Man, this is difficult. I also could just be tired, but still. Ah, oh, that doesn't make it sweet enough. Oh, no. The base needs to be slightly bitter and strong. Slightly bitter. And strong. And then slightly sweet and thick. Okay, I know we've been having issues with the milk, but we might have to... Hmm... Or maybe... No, that doesn't make it sweet enough! Ah, uh, okay. Hold on. I've just- I'm sure- I feel like maybe I'm doing the wrong base. Cause it has to be these. Let's try the blue one again. Let's try these. It's a pretty purple. So, I just need to keep it balanced. Or slightly sweet. I could. I could. There we go. And that's actually kind of pretty. That's not bad. Let's see. With the mint. Yeah. There we go. That's not bad. I like this flavor because there's lots of things I can't get out of my head. As you know, we Sweet Dreams Troop are a creation of the family to entertain the guests. 
Looks good. Why, thank you, Somya. The work that Siobhan gave you was to calm us down, right? It seems you don't really understand what this goal really means to us. If you want the answer, come to the hotel in the dreamscape. Okie dokie. I'll go see what Siobhan is up to when I'm done here. Now I need to have the chat with Starlet. You've come after all. Let's get it started. There's no point in repeating arguments. As only facts can guide us to the path. I've prepared a mind space for simulations. Watch closely and see what kind of life we sweet dream troop members are actually living. What would you choose if you were the one at the crossroads? Alright, in we go. You teleport me to a weird place. Is the hotel in the dreamscape? Big bubble. This is a dream bubble. No need to explain that. Starlet isn't around. Where is this voice coming from? Dream bubbles are appearing in the hotel as a sign that the dreamscape is collapsing. The nightmare is spreading and Sweet Dreams Troop has been corrupted and become frenzied. For the family, this is a big problem that must be solved. However, for us, it might not be the same. What are you trying to imply? You must reach that room. Go experience it for yourself. I've made a few adjustments and you'll appear in my form for this space. Remember, the sights may be false, but everything you're about to see did happen before. Woof, let's play truth or dare. The person who gets called must choose between truth or dare. Once you've become the challenge, you can select the next one. Woof, who should we start with? I prefer to be passive. I don't want to be the one who confesses first. You're not going to bully me, are you? Well, I know it's a vote, but I'm pretty sure you all agreed to pick on me. Waha, well, that's not how you play. Well, let's think of a way. He, how about we start with that tin can? The big one should give way to the smaller ones. Nothing wrong with that. Alright, let me show you how it's done. Watch this. So, truth or dare? I choose truth. That's no fun at all. He, alright, I'll ask you a question. Who are you most afraid of? Siobhan. Well, if that's cheating, it doesn't count. Hey, why not? It's my turn now. I'm gonna pick... Hey, you, the red guy over there. Step out. I, I'm here. Did I call you? Go back. I mean, yeah, you. I'll choose you. Oh, me? Yeah, um, now I'm asking... Who's your favorite one to be with? Hey, I hadn't said I choose truth yet, but fine. I guess I can answer this question. My favorite is, well, you know. Oh, it's too embarrassing. I'll go with dare. Alright then, blink three times. That simple? Then I'll start. Next, I'm going to choose... Mm, who should I choose? Why are you staring at me? Are you trying to bully me? <sighs> I knew it always end up like this. Peek out, please. My headphones. Make a choice. Are you staying on my lap or not? Hey, not at all. I'll go with the big guy over there. He, are you choosing me? I pink out! No! Ugh. Get off! My headphones! Thank you. That's a blink you've never seen before? Yeah, that was an interesting blink, huh? Ah, uh, Pika took my headphones. I had to quickly plug them back in. He's still on my lap, surprisingly. Ah, okay. Uh, why is she pointing at me? Wait, can she see me? Hey, yeah, you. Truth or dare? My choice is... Truth. Alright, here's my question. You must have heard this famous quote. For liberty, I will sacrifice my love. 
If it were you, which one would you choose? Liberty or love? Love. I'd choose... Whatever that face is. <laughs> I haven't had this much fun in ages. Awesome, I love seeing you like this. Woof, it's so much fun. Yeah, so much fun. It's true that making fun of others is what makes comedy, but still. No one's making fun of you, Melancholy. Huh, my stomach hurts from laughing so hard. How did you come up with that trick? You're really something else. So, what exactly did you do back then? You don't need to know the details. Seeing them laughing so hard is all you need to know. Here we go. It's always a pleasure to spend time with friends. Are you willing to give up this life? Here you will find two doors. Of course, I know that. The door on the left means yes. The one on the right means no. Riddle me this. It's always a pleasure to spend time with friends. Are you willing to give up this life? Give up, what, them having fun? I mean, I assume you'd want to say no. We've been leading a happy life ever since we broke free from the family's control. Of course, the nightmare has left everyone emotionally unstable, and conflicts increased. What kind of riddle is this? I think I need to guess how he reacted, I guess? Or how he feels? I'm not sure. But at least we don't have to worry or fear anything. We're free now. We decide which path we want to take. Now go back. You haven't reached the end yet. Well, and now we're back here. Will it let me go this way? No. Look back at the monster's past. Oh, we're all in the group again. Vitali. What is wrong with you? Why should I keep your useless self around if you can't even roll the dice right? I, I'm sorry. I won't make this mistake ever again. Do you want big or small? You're asking me big or small? Are you really that stupid? Can't you see the situation on the table? If most guests bet on the big side, you roll small. Otherwise, roll big. Have you forgotten what I told you? Let the most miserable loser win every once every few rounds. And if someone questions us, find an excuse about having a tummy ache. The banker doesn't have to win all the time, but must ensure nobody loses too much money. You remember now? You buffoon. Be nice to Spade. I, I need to use the bathroom. I'm asking you to lie to the guests, not to me, you fool. Bring me the whip. I'll make sure you never forget it. Well, if, please don't do that. Scram, you stupid dog. All you do is chew on your stupid soda bottles. You can't even protect the house without causing losses. Get lost. Now. Stop being mean to Mr. Bigwig. That's so scary. I, I can't bear to watch such brutal scenes. <sighs> Let me cover your eyes. Master, maybe forget about it for today? And do it some other time? Did I ask you anything? Huh? Did I? This is just a warning. One more word, and you're gonna get it, too. You're mean, sir. I see. Bah, I'm in a bad mood, so I'll take it out on you. You are made for entertainment, but you can't do anything right and keep wasting my money. You're good for being my practice dummy. What's the point in owning you, worthless piece of junk? Why don't I just smash you up and sell you for parts? Sir, I will kick your ass. Taking it out on them only makes you look pathetic and useless. Can you hear me? Ha, so now you think you're some kind of hero, you big nitwit? You're gonna get it too. You think you're smart? You think you've seen it all? Ha, nonsense. As long as I'm in charge, I can punish you as much as I want. Don't even think about fighting back or getting help from anyone. I'll punish you until you're scared. You'll only listen when you're scared, right? I'll kick your ass! I tried to grab my baseball bat, but it's nowhere to be found. 
Uh, the whip keeps hitting you, not really causing much pain, but the humiliation's real. Say something, are you just gonna stand there and watch them get hit? Do you really think you can erase the past and change the future by yelling at these illusions and f I already forgot they were illusions, my dude. I forgot. <laughs> like I said, you're the former me. Here we go. Same two doors as before. Ah, the familiar ceiling. The door on the left means yes, and the one on the right means no. Riddle me this. Losing your freedom and being at the mercy of others is painful. Do you want to escape that kind of life? I mean, I, you probably say yes. Why would you want to stay there? We led a miserable life when we served the family. Maybe we called the Sweet Dreams Troop. There's nothing sweet about our dreams. Not that you've decided to help Siobhan and make us return to Sweet Dreams Troop. Do you know what that means? We'll lose our freedom and be at the mercy of others again. No one cares about what mere tools like us think. Breaking free is the only way to find happiness. The nightmare may be a problem for the family, but for us, it's our only chance to escape. Even if it drives me into a frenzy, I'm willing to risk everything at this point. What about Siobhan? Now go back. You haven't fulfilled your duty yet. Nope, oh, back upstairs. I want to speak to your administrator. I can't believe you lost my room card. My luggage is still in the lobby. Who's going to take responsibility if I'm delayed? Well, if, please wait a moment. I'll go handle it for you. A moment? How long is that exactly? The family never waits when they're charging for a room or collecting money, but I have to wait? I want to see the person in charge right now. No delays or excuses. There will be consequences. Wolf, but our administrator... <laughs> Could we maybe not involve the administrator? How about this? I'll go to the concierge right away. It'll be quick. I promise. Are you telling me what to do? Shut up. I want the administrator now. Man, what a Karen. I don't care what you do. Just get your administrator. Or else. Aww. Does this happen frequently? Very often. Pretty much every day. Let's we'll stop here. I think you have your answer now. Here are the final doors. The door on the left means yes, and the one on the right means no. Riddle me this. Now that you've seen the real past, do you think we should return to the Sweet Dreams troop? This so-called normal life is nothing more than just slavery for us. To us, Abnormality means freedom. If we can't enjoy the sweet dream, why not embrace the other side? So it's your choice. Don't you already have an answer? Perhaps. Weird. Why am I back here again? What are you waiting for? How much longer do you expect me to wait? I apologize for keeping you waiting. I'm the administrator here, so please let me know how I can help you today. You're the one? You might look respectful, but you can't even teach your tools to do the right- how to do things right. Are you too stupid or too incompetent to manage this junk? I apologize for all the trouble caused. The Iris family is willing to compensate you. Compensate me? Can you even afford it? With your measly salary, your compensation wouldn't even cover the room bill for one system hour. You have the nerve to talk about compensating me? Hey, this dog lost my room card and I want it back. Just the one that's lost, not the others. If the dog can't find it, then you do it. I don't care if you have to beg, borrow, or steal. I'm going to- Get out. Huh? What did you say? I said, I want you to disappear from Pentagoni. You can make yourself scarce on your own, or I can arrange for it. Your choice. Wait, I'm a guest of honor invited by the family. How dare you talk to me like this? <sighs> a guest of honor, huh? Well, I'll let you in on a secret. Not only do I dare talk to you like this, but I also can do something about it. Oh, is that the invitation in your pocket? Let me check it. I see. It's signed by Maven, head of the Iris family. An invitation from Maven, huh? So it's okay if I tear it up, don't you think? In the blink of an eye, the gorgeous invitation is soaring to shreds. Colors drain from the Dream Tracer's face instantly. 
Well then, now that you're no longer a guest invited by the family, you're just a nobody in a miserable basket case who bullies those little guys. Now, would you kindly vacate the premises? Y you're nuts. I'm gonna file a complaint. There will be consequences. And all that jazz exits that way. Farewell. Who's that lady? A new administrator? Hmm, I don't know her, but... But she looked so cool when she was scolding that bad guy. Mwah! Oh, I agree too. You guys are members of the Sweet Dreams troupe, right? Don't be too polite to varmints like that. Because the more plastating you are, the more they'll walk all over you. And remember, if you get bullied next time, just come to me. Cheers, Betty. Is this Siobhan before she became a drinksmith? That was our first encounter with Siobhan. You don't have the heart to leave her, do you? Now, please listen to my question. Do you think we should return to the Sweet Dreams troop? The so-called normal life is nothing more than just slavery for us. I, we already went over all this. There's something else worth cherishing. In an instant, the words start to tremble violently, the strokes cascading off, forming a new sentence entirely. Do you want to leave Siobhan? It said it wanted to hear my thoughts, but in the end, it poured out its own heart. What would be lost? What do I truly want? What's more important than freedom? What else is worth cherishing? They love her so much. I made it. You found the ultimate answer. What's even more important than freedom is companionship. Is that the answer you were hoping for? I don't know. Well, who really knows? Originally, reaching this room would have been impossible because the room card was lost. But someone helped you and helped us out. Even without the room card, you managed to open the door. Why does it keep turning into a movie? I have no idea. The events are all getting longer, apparently. It's time to leave. This thought experiment has come to fruition. Man, all we were doing was mixing drinks, and then we decided to watch a movie, I guess. Diving into the stream is much more tiring than a fight. Siobhan was right, and I admit you're an extraordinary drinksmith. You're a perfect fit for Dream Trolt Holstery. On behalf of all the members, welcome aboard. Thank you for what you've done. I'll drop by next time. Thank you for everything. Now that I've resolved all the monster's problems, it's time to investigate Siobhan. I got their group photo. Woof, you got some time now? You promised to meet with Siobhan. Let's get going. I'm ready. Oh. Woof, there you are. I've been waiting for you. I told them that we wouldn't be at the lounge today. Now we can do whatever we want. Let's focus on our investigation. No worries. Soda Dog will always be your most reliable partner. Although I've never left the hotel, my handsome and keen nose will lead us straight to Siobhan. Woof. Woof, I hear that Golden Hour is huge and crowded, so stick close and don't get lost. I'm taking Bigwig with me to Golden Hour? That seems a little dangerous. And why is she at Golden Hour? Almost there. 
teleporting is very hard for my computer lately. Even when I'm not streaming, it's been a little slow. It's been doing it on my phone, too. How long am I going to stream for? I'm not sure. I might just do it to the end of this event, which is probably super soon. Oh, we disappeared. But, um, yeah, I was thinking of doing Simulated Universe as well, but I didn't realize how long this was going to go for. I didn't realize how much we had left. Um, you're going to go get your dinner. Okay. Be safe. Oh, well, Sparkle! At first I thought it was me, and then I got confused. Hey guys, walking your dog, huh? He looks so happy. <laughs> you know, I think he's the one you're taking for a walk. If you go for another hour and a half, you can raid Marin. That's true. Alright, you guys are gonna keep me company, right? We'll stay awake. Exparted, are you streaming at that same time? Or was your time a different time? I saw in your Discord you had an event too, right? Are you doing the same event? Hi, Max. Welcome in. Wait, then why are you telling me to raid Mariner Hawk if you're going to be streaming too? I could raid you. <laughs> but hi, Max. Welcome in. How are you today? Uh, what are you doing here, Sparkle? You're good? Oh, that's good. How are we? I am good. I am kind of sleepy, but my friends have lovingly reminded me that a friend of ours is going to start streaming in like an hour and a half. So I'm going to try to stay awake and stream long enough to raid over there. But I think I might just raid McSwarlton instead now. Because... <laughs> That him reminding me of Mariner Hawk's stream has reminded me that he is also going to be streaming. So I'm just going to go raid McSwarlton instead when that time comes. Yeah, but I'm doing good. I am very sleepy though because I had work earlier today. Uh, oops, I didn't read that and I clicked the button. Oh well. Woof, we got something super important to do. We're playing the end of a... Uh, a limited time event for Honkai Star Rail. And it's a lot longer than I thought. Because I streamed for what? Almost two hours yesterday. And I've streamed for two hours today. This is a long event. <clears throat> uh, yeah, yeah. Talking dog. So cute. I'll bring you a gift next time. But for now, I've got work to do. So I'm out of here. Okay, bye Sparkle. And then I immediately turn into Sparkle. Woof, look at all the shiny stuff. So many people. Oh yeah, this is your first time in Golden Hour. Aw, oh, thank you. Yeah! Woof, so that's Clocky. This place is so spacious. Perfect for a game of float disc. Oh, I almost forgot. L let's find Siobhan first. Woof, so many scents mixed up here. Oh, it's Black Swan. Are you looking for me? No, we're not. Chill out. Just kidding. You seem a little troubled. How about I draw out... A fortune card for you. What does that mean? Just doing you a favor and returning the favor. Well, it's done. Woof, I've caught Siobhan's scent. Let's go. Now go. Seize the opportunity before it slips away. Are we just, like, giving everybody a cameo? Up, oh, lag. Bigwig! You're so fast. Woof! Look, it's Siobhan! The person next to her. I think I've met her before. Hey, it's the bad guy who tried to take Siobhan away from the lounge. How did they end up together? Woof! Woof! I'll drag Siobhan back! Drown! Okay, thank you, Max. Give me one second. I have to drink a ton of water now. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't almost choke on the water. Totally not.
<laughs> Please don't choke. I'm trying. Or, well, trying not to. I'm almost dead. <sighs> okay. Thank you again for the water. That's actually probably a good thing, because I wasn't really drinking any while I've been streaming, other than the hydro earlier today. I always forget. Uh, you don't want Siobhan to be mad at you, right? Hydration be important. That's very true. I also did not drink much water at work. I drank a lot of energy drinks and coffee, though. We're gonna sneak over and eavesdrop on their conversation. As I said, staying at that rundown lounge is a total waste of your talent. If you had just listened to me earlier, you wouldn't be in this mess. Lucky for you, the family head is in a good mood, so I'll take you to see her. Just be careful what you say. Don't worry, you haven't forgotten who taught you the basics of acting, have you? I'll be careful. Hm, good to know. And don't spend all day obsessing over those monsters of yours. I'll handle them. Now let's get going. Wolf. Are you okay, Mr. Bigwig? Let's head back. Oh, I'm sure it's not what it looks like. Poor baby. I'm sure it's not what it looks like. We're probably missing a ton of context. Now we gotta teleport back. Hey, you're back. I was so worried about you guys. Oof, Siobhan, she doesn't want us anymore. Uh, Bigwig, we already talked about this. I highly doubt that's the case. Well, what nonsense are you talking about, silly dog? You think you can fool us with that pathetic tiny brain of yours? Well, f telling the truth, the drinks from us saw it too. Siobhan, she left with the bad guy who showed up at the lounge last time. She doesn't want to stay here anymore. Oh my god. Lies. Nothing but lies. Trust has never existed from the beginning. Is that true? I'm gonna stay quiet. Don't just stand there. There are troublemakers out there everywhere. Watch out. These monsters are feral and aggressive. Don't let your guard down. Stop it. Leave them alone. What the heck? Why is there a human in this hellhole? We've been ordered to wipe out all the monsters in the hotel and the dreamscape. Let's just do our job. Well, if this is our lounge, we won't let any baddies do anything bad. No time to explain. I've got to stop them first. The strength. I love it. It's like, yeah, we're going to get rid of all the monsters here. They all turn into monsters. That makes total sense. There's no time to lose. Conflict is pitiless. <laughs> time for the mess. Show no mercy. Did that hurt? I think this is only the second time we've actually had to fight during this event. The times are changed. Divination. May as well use this. I don't think there's going to be a big boss fight. And if there is, I can regret it later. Just in case. All things in this work, human creations. Let's play hide and can you find Back, no dinner yet, but still an egg to eat for now. That works. How come no dinner yet, though? Just not hungry? You don't feel like making anything. An egg is good, though. Good snack.
There we go. Not alone anymore, and it's not ready yet. Ah, gotcha. No way. This gray hair is way too tall. What the heck are you doing? You're helping those monsters fight against us. Are you nuts? They won't hurt anybody. Leave them alone. Are you kidding me? Stop talking nonsense. The Dream Jolt Troop is just a bunch of monsters. They roam around and attack people, and many guests have been attacked. And now you're saying they're safe? No one will believe that nonsense. Moreover, they're just animated objects to entertain guests. They can be easily replaced. Is it really worth all this trouble to protect them? No, they're not just objects. Enough with na your naive kindness. Can you take responsibility if someone gets hurt because of those monsters? What's more, they're corrupted by the nightmare. Even if they seem harmless now, they'll show their true colors at the slightest provocation. Monsters are monsters, beyond redemption. I'll give you one last chance to think it over. After leaving a few harsh words, the Bloodhound family members take their leave for now. You can clearly hear sobbing from behind you. See, they're just babies! They're just little babies! What's going on here? Those hounds, they've been here? I'll contact the head of the Bloodhound family right away. That's not the most urgent problem now, Siobhan. You should check on them first. <laughs> they they wanted to capture all of us, and they said we're just a bunch of worthless trash. What should we do? It's so scary. They'll lock us in and lash us like hell. Oh, they're all so depressed now. This bear is clutching my heart. So stifling. I'm about to suffocate. It's too much to handle. They said mean things and even hurt Tin Man. I'll fight those scoundrels no matter what. Well, Shabon, are you gonna abandon us? Huh, who would have guessed when you treat the lower class poorly they revolt against you, right? Like, obviously they're gonna be upset and they're not gonna want to go back. They're gonna fight for their freedom. That's why you sent those baddies to get rid of us, right? What nonsense are you even talking about? I never wanted to abandon you guys. But I heard it all, Wolf. I heard everything you guys talked about. You want to go back to the family and continue your former career. We're nothing but unruly monsters, just a burden to you. Wolf, we can't do anything useful. We bicker all day long, and we may lose control any time. So you have to stay in this lounge forever. That's why you hired a new drinksmith. You've been thinking about leaving a while now. No, I hired Dahlia because... Their emotions are too intense to be calmed down by words. If we don't handle it well, they might go into a frenzy again. What's wrong? You used to be so articulate, but when it really matters, why don't you say anything? Is it because you're afraid of saying the wrong thing and making them even angrier? Amiki, just shut up. Hmm? Don't think you can order me around. I'm not listening. Back then, there was a fool who gave up her acting career to become a drinksmith, and she always said with confidence that drinksmith is an art of communication. Now that you're a drinksmith, why don't you solve the problem the best way you know how? Yeah, let's just get everybody drunk. <laughs> Can you please make me a drink now, Dahlia? Wait, I'm making you a drink? Sure, I guess. Make me your best drink, or one that you think suits me best right now. We've known each other for quite a while now. So what do you think is the drink that fits me best? I look forward to your answer. Oh, please don't give me complete free reign. No! No, I'm gonna take forever! This is gonna be the next hour and a half of stream. I think a large glass. With more ice. I like the more ice in this glass. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is... This is going to take us a bit. This is going to take us a bit. There's so much we can play with. There's no instructions. That probably means we can't fail. <laughs> but... 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 This this is gonna take a minute. Hmm. 
That's not as dark of a color as I thought it was going to be. Hold on. It gets so murky when you stir it. I don't like that. I wanted, because she, like, she wears a lot of red. I kind of wanted to incorporate that, but it's all so dark. I'm doing very random things just to see what we come up with. That, that makes a dreamy base. Nope, that's ugly. I want it to be pretty! It goes to like such pastel colors. Wait, what if we make a large glass instead? Hold on. We'll do the bigger glass, because then I can play around with the colors a bit more, I think. What color does this make? Hmm. Some colors just get so... No, when you mix them, I... It's like this can be so pretty. I feel like that's pretty, but we don't have any base or anything with it. I can do it. Aw, oh, thank you, Zomia. I don't... That's not a pretty start. What do these make? Eh, no. Not that one. I don't remember what all the bases are called. Or how to make them. I made one by accident. I feel like I keep somehow making the same drinks. I don't like that either. What is the best drink to suit her? That's actually kind of cute color. I don't think it's as... I don't know if it's the same on your screen and mine, but... 
Almost. What if I added a bit more pink to it? Ah, uh, that's still kind of the same. Hmm. I wish it would remind me how to get certain bases. Because I don't know how important that is. Are you okay, Pico? Where did you just fall from? Yeah, right? Yeah? Okay. He said he's fine. Oh, that is a dark purple. I didn't get a base, though. What if... I... Alright, hold on, Pico. That's my hair. <laughs> I guess it was, huh? I just keep making my hair over and over again. I just didn't make a base either. I keep making the broken base over and over again, or no base at all. I think I made Dreamy once. I can't decide what to do. They should never give me this much freedom. That's pretty. And using hardly anything. Now, what kind of drink do you guys think I should do? I can't decide. This is too much freedom. This is too much freedom for me. And Pico's currently readjusting, so I have to be away from my computer. Okay. Pico, that's not a good position, my love. Feel me too many choices are vain for you? Yeah. ADHD doesn't help with it either. It just gives you anxiety. Ask Pico! Pico, they want you to decide a drink. I need you to decide. Here, let's get rid of this one. Alright. Guide me, Pico. I will put your paw on my hand. Just tell me when you want me to click on something. He's just purring. He's... He's, he's, he's just purring. He's not, he's not telling me what he wants. Pico, you gotta choose. That's what they want. You gotta do it for the stream. What in the world would this make? The purrs are the answer. <laughs> let's see. Alright, let's do... This. By the power of the feeling, God, have this drink of wisdom. Pico, you must make a drink of wisdom. It has been decided. That is not the drink of wisdom, Pico. I will- I need to listen to you. Tell me, which one do you want? He's getting very loud. I don't think you guys can hear it because of... Uh... My mic's probably blocking it, but he is purring so loud right now. Happy. 
Happy Kitty, yeah. Okay, we're just doing this because I can't decide and we will be here forever. And that's when he was purring loudest, so we're gonna go with it. Aw, oh, you want a Cato? Yeah. I love my Cato. He's adorable. I hope you like this, Siobhan. <laughs> what an intriguing flavor. Time is limited, so I'll be straightforward. I'll remove the protection from my heart. During this time, please use your powers to let everyone know how I'm really feeling. I won't hide anything anymore. You'll all see the real me. The genuine me. I'm ready. I wish I could take a picture of him right now. He is so cute, but he's taking up my arms. I can't reach my phone. His little face is right into the mic, and he's got his, his paws are on my arm that has my mouse. He's being so cute. Uh, this is the Dream Jolt holstery from the past. The furnishing's very different from how it looks now. And the monsters are nowhere in sight. Oh, Siobhan and Mr. Bigwig are over there. I bought a new radio at the store. Want it? You're always saying the lounge is cold and lonely, right? Well, check this out. It really does the trick. Try listening to the radio when you're bored. The programs from the Irish family won't leave you bored. Well, thank you. I'll cherish it. By the way, you've been staying in this lounge for quite a while. It's about time I give you a name. Since you enjoy listening to the radio so much, why don't we call you... Oh, I've got something interesting in mind. Woof, what's that? From now on, your name is Mr. Bigwig. Woof, my name is Mr. Bigwig. An awesome name. I love it. Oh, so she named them all too? Reporting to Mr. Bigwig. Recently, the family sealed off the hotel in the Dreamscape. I'm planning to explore the steps again and see if there are any other Sweet Dreams Troop members who have been abandoned like you. Requesting your instructions. Woof, let's go! Yeah, let's go. That's right. Although I want to open a lounge, I'm still lacking a fair few things now that I look at it. How can a proper upscale lounge be empty? I'll have to see what I can do. Did I just witness a Oh, I got a piece of the puzzle. A scene in Siobhan's memory? There's only Mr. Bigwig at the lounge at first. Oh, I gotta go downstairs. So we're gonna see how she collected everybody. How, or at least how they all made it here. Oh, Spade was next! Hey, hold on, Pico. I'm just readjusting. Hmm, what's this terrible place? I woke up and found myself here with nobody but monsters. What bad luck. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, I need a bathroom when I'm nervous. But where is it? Woof, it's my peer, Mr. Dice. Four plus two minus three. Is there a big or small? Big. It's big. 5 times 4 minus 2, and then divided by 6. Is the result big or small? Small. It's small. 8 squared divided by 4 minus 4, and then divided by 4. Is the result big or small? I, I have a little tummy ache, and I need to use the bathroom. Oof, these questions are just too hard. It's natural if you can't handle these questions. Small size Sweet Dream Troop members don't have good computation abilities. I asked it those questions just to see if it's becoming combative, and luckily, it seems like the nightmare corruption is still not too deep. Would you come back with me if you don't mind? Come back? But where? I've opened a lounge in the depths of the hotel in the dreamscape for those abandoned. Sweet dreams troop members like you. There won't- There you won't have to work, just live happily. The only rule is, no fighting. Will you join us? It could be dangerous for you to stay in a sealed hotel all alone, and you'll- feel lonely without any company. 
then you guess you're in a small size dream troop your whole life because your math suck. Same. I wasn't. I wasn't attempting to do that math at all. I was like, I instantly was lost. So I am right there with you, Sylvia. But if you join us, you'll have a family. Family. Then can I take bathroom breaks whenever I want? <laughs> of course you can. You can go wherever you want without any restrictions, and there won't be any bullying in the name of discipline. I won't- Oh, Pico. Don't do it. Don't do it. I won't allow what happened before to happen again. Follow up if you're interested. It's about- It's time to go home. Is Siobhan bringing Spade back to the lounge? Let's follow them and see. Pico has now moved to sit on the arm of my chair, so he can stare at my dog. I don't know what these guys are up to today, but they are so active. Woof, well, we got a new partner! Siobhan, let's give Mr. Dice a name too! Well, I want the coolest name you can think of, the kind that scares people just by hearing it. Well, I was terrible at naming characters when I wrote scripts. I see you have some spades on your dice, so maybe I'll just call you Spade? Whoa, that's so casual. Well, if I think it's a great name, it suits you. What? Huh? How does it suit me? You, you silly, silly dog. <laughs> you silly dog. Hey, stop. No fighting here. You're so energetic. Come and help me set up the lounge. Second jigsaw piece. I am missing a lot of pieces, it looks like. Oh, nope, it's gonna give me the pieces. Haha. -ha. Yay! The design is sophisticated and it fits well with the overall atmosphere. Finally, it's starting to look like a lounge. But there's still something missing. Something just doesn't feel right. Well, it's because there's no customers yet. It would feel more like a lounge if it were filled with customers. Wait, <laughs> what kind of counter is so clean? It has to be piled with paper money and chips to bring out the vibes. Ah, oh, I get it. I forgot to prepare the ingredients for mixing the drink. After completing the jigsaw, the respective item appeared in the lounge. I can understand it now. Currently watching the process of Siobhan meeting with the monsters and building the lounge together. Only the most important moments were preserved. This is Siobhan's inner world. She's revealing her past to regain the monster's trust. Let me help her reveal the whole scenario. The field of vision is getting darker. Is it time to jump to the next memory? You got your dinner? Yay! What's for dinner? Is it yummy? If you're planning to keep hanging around this shabby lounge and play house with those monsters, don't blame the Iris family for not saving a spot for you. Seriously, you... You're not taking your future seriously enough. The status within the family is superficial flowers and applauses. But I, what can I do with any of that? You're the one who's gotten too caught up in it, Amiki. Let's go, Mr. Bigwig. Woof. After completing the jigsaw, the timeline and memory advances. Siobhan still plans to stay here and continue searching for the abandoned Sweet Dreams troop deeper in the hotel and the dreamscape. I gotta go back downstairs. Hot enough to burn your tongue again? Oh no! Rice and eggs and potatoes and onions and thick gravy. Oh, that sounds delicious! I mean, I've been awake long enough, I'm starting to get hungry too. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds absolutely yummy. I might have to make rice after this. And then I'll probably just be lazy and put an egg on it and call it good. Uh, oh, we found melancholy! Sweet dreams are as fickle as fantasy-filled soap bubbles. Ha! Huh. Love stems from lies and passion arises from ignorance. Are you here just to bully me? Not at all. Siobhan wants to help you. You were part of the sweet dreams troop, weren't you? Did the family abandon you in the dreamscape? <sighs> I've always been on my lonesome. The expectation was never 
envisaged, how could one be considered abandoned? Like, okay, Pico, you have to get off, honey. You're being, you're being mean. Go on. He keeps pulling out my headphones. And he's being very adorable while he does it. But he needs to stop. Please speak like a normal person. I've set up a lounge nearby where no one will bully you. There you can meet others from the Sweet Dreams troop who are in the same situation as you. Will you come with me? Are you sure no one will bully me there? Aw, oh, he wants to listen to you. Yeah. But, but no. He's not allowed. Because I need it. Unfortunately, I am priority. I love him, but no. Uh, do I still need to participate in plays and act out roles? No, you don't. Or perhaps you can if you're interested. Are you really, really sure no one will bully me? Are you actually expecting a yes from me? I'm leaving. Do you want to come with me or not? Take me with you! Back to the lounge. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna get kind of annoying, though, if I have to keep running up and down. Oh. I heard there was a lounge here. Well, this is the first monster actively shows up here. Yeah, I'm the owner of this lounge. Judging by your appearance, it seems like the nightmare hasn't affected you, right? At least my mind has been unclouded so far. Why do they bother putting question marks? Like, we know who this is. Of course, you did pick liberty with liberty and love. <laughs> Tell me, what's your purpose in bringing back these abandoned monsters? It's none of your business, is it? Now that you've managed to avoid the impact of the collapsing dreamscape, leave and find a safe space. Then why are you still staying in the dreamscape yourself? I have unfinished business. Listen, even if you're not showing signs of frenzy now, as part of the Sweet Dreams troop, the nightmares will eventually corrupt you. So leave now and find a safe place while you still have your sanity. But similarly, as long as someone's part of the Sweet Dreams troop, there's no actual safe place for them. Show me your lounge. Man, so even back then, he was... Starlet was, like, not honest about what he wanted. Or what he meant. Woof, we're back! Want some new friends. Alright, listen up. In this lounge, you all do what I say. Whenever I give an order, you follow it. Got it? Now, if you understand, be a good troop good troop member and clean the toilets. What do you say? I knew someone would bully me in the end. Stop your nonsense. Relax. There's no such rules in this lounge. Oh, I need to give you guys names. How about I just call you melancholy? Uh, that name doesn't really fit me. I mean, I'm not melancholic. I'm not poetic at all. Besides, melancholy encompasses more than just an emotion. It's an attitude towards the world. Woof, you really should hear what you just said. That name suits you perfectly. He, perhaps this is what those customers call yuppies? Wait, what? Yuppie? I have no idea what that means. It's your turn now. Let me see. Wait, I already have a name. It's Starlet. Woof. I I don't even know what to say, my friend. Hi, come on, big guy. You're seriously called Starlet? What kind of quirky style is that? Show some respect. Don't make fun of people's names. Sorry, I didn't mean to poke fun, but it's just too hilarious. Starlet, do you twinkle, Starlet? Oh, Spade, don't be mean. Hey now, you won't like to see me mad. Alright, let's get back to setting up the lounge. With new members on board, we'll finish up in no time. I need your help, Melancholy and Starlet. I'm not doing the laughing parts because my throat's kind of hurting from talking so much. <laughs> so I'm not doing any of that. Okay, we found all these jigsaw pieces. Let's see. There we go. There we go. That doesn't go there. There we go. Ha ha! There you go. Got it. I got everything I need. 
Don't I look like a drinksmith when I stand behind the counter? Whew, our lounge is all set and ready to roll. It looks so awesome and grand. And finally, a place to call home for a good while. I'm so touched. There's truly no place like home in the world. Have you thought about our next steps? If they stay here, they'll eventually go berserk. What will you do then? I'll figure something out. Maybe there's no permanent solution, but at least they can have a happy life like this. When the Sweet Dreams troop gets corrupted by negative emotions, they turn into the Dream Jolt troop and end up being pursued by the family. They've got nowhere to go except the sealed hotel in the Dreamscape. Will they stay in this hotel until they're wiped out? That won't happen to them. Not under my watch. I promise you. The lounge is all decorated, but Lady and Tin Man haven't appeared. Seems like the memory backtrack has yet to continue. Has to continue. The dreamscape is collapsing, and there aren't many Sweet Dream Troop members who can keep their sanity. Come on, let's go deeper into the area. Oh, Siobhan, you sound tired. Siobhan does look exhausted. I should be nearing the end soon. Oh well, yeah, there's only two members left. Okay, back downstairs. I went the wrong way. It's fine. Taking the scenic route. How do I get over there? Aha! Here we go. And we found Lady. Gah, that's scary. I don't want to date you people. Leave me alone. Go away. Oh, I'm not some berserk monster. Relax and listen. It's okay now. We won't hurt you. Just take a breath. Open your eyes and see? I'm not a monster. Just an ordinary human being. And a handsome dog. Woof. I love you, Mr. Bigwig. You're adorable. Oh, you see... I just lost in this maze like place and I couldn't find my way out. Can you please show me the way? Sure thing. Come with me. Woof, you're talking in a weird way just like those guests do. Well, I used to be a superstar entertaining those guests. I've been on some amazing stages. Superstar? It's been a while since I heard that word. Did you enjoy being on stage? Yeah, for sure. Being loved by so many guests and shining on that stage is a true blessing. A true blessing, right? If you like the stage so much, I'll just call you Superstar. Woof, but we already but we already have a starlet. Alright, let me think again. Can I call myself Lady? I've always envied those guests in fabulous clothes. They're so elegant. Sure, you can call yourself whatever you want. So, shall we head home? Thank you. I'll be right behind you. We got lady. Can I get back to the lounge from here? I think so. So I went all the way around for nothing. I could have gone this way. That's fine. Oh, there's Tidman. Oh my gosh. Sorry, guys. I'm just so sleepy. Call your administrator. What do you mean it's temporarily closed to the public? Is that how you treat your customers? Do you even have a smidgen of respect for your customers? Basic etiquette. Woof, there's a frenzy monster in the lounge. That's scary. Didn't you say that the lounge is totally safe? No, it's not frenzied. That Sweet Dreams Street member is just grumpy. What would you like? A drink, of course. Are you the drinksmith here? Fetch me something. I'm dying of thirst. Sure, I can make whatever you want. I want a drink that's slightly sour, not too bitter, super sweet, refreshing, fruity, and with a little fizz. Hurry up. Woof, I don't think we have all those ingredients. What? How dare you open a lounge without decent ingredients? What a joke. You can't even whip up a decent drink? I'm leaving. Hold on. I'm not waiting any longer. Well, I'll make you the drink you want. Just give me a moment. Here you go. Exactly what you asked for. Don't get ahead of yourself. I met plenty of people like you. All high and mighty, thinking they rule the world, but guess what? They all end up bowing before me. Fine, I'll give it a try. 
If it doesn't impress me, your lounge will have to shut down. Well, what's happening here? My head feels a bit dizzy, like I've had a strong drink, but somehow I'm feeling calm. Hey there, nice to meet you all. He's drunk. Greetings, my lady. You're absolutely stunning. Would you mind if I... Gah, I'm not interested in you at all. You're truly a miracle worker, Savan. What did you do? It was just a little experiment. I added some special ingredients that helped calm him down. Seems like it worked pretty well on our grumpy customer, although maybe I added a bit too much. Hey, hello, mister? Oh, hey, did you call me? I'm in a wonderful mood right now. If you need anything, just feel free to ask, and I'll seriously consider it. So from now on, you'll be a regular at this lounge, and I'll make sure to serve you delicious drinks. Sound good? Oh, and you need a name. Ugh, this is giving me a headache. I'll just pick one from the show I used to act in. Let's go with Tin Man. It suits a big guy like you, a bit tactless and all. Alright, that settles it. Is that my name now? Yep, that's your name now. Don't forget it, because that's what all the monsters now call you at the lounge. Because names, you know, they form our initial bond. Oh, I see. Okay, that should be all the puzzle pieces, right? Oh. Well, Siobhan, here, come here. Oh, we got a surprise for you. Just don't get all teary-eyed with joy and start sprinkling tears everywhere. Why all the secrecy? What's the surprise about? Yeah, it's a special gift we prepared just for you. The more heartfelt the words, the harder they are to say out loud. Go ahead, come on. Siobhan, I'll leave the final steps to you. No, there are more suitable people available. Right, newly minted drinksmith? Eh, uh, the version of Siobhan here can actually see me? Don't make a fuss. Go. Well, yeah, it's still her dreamscape. Aw, it's their group picture, isn't it? No, wait. There you go. Time to celebrate the grand opening of our lounge. Yeah, it's the grand opening, but I don't think there'll be any other customers coming here except for you guys. Woof. Even so, it's still worth celebrating. When I first arrived, there was practically nothing. Did someone say Liberty? Hi, Tokyo. Welcome in. How are ya? Good morning. Now everything is set up, and we've made so many friends. From now on, this lounge will be called Dream Jolt Holstery. It's a place for all those who can't enjoy sweet dreams. We're not accepted by the outside world, so we've gathered here. We are each other's sweet dreams. You laid in bed too long? That's a mood. Did you at least enjoy it? Have a good rest? Maybe a decent rest? I need to go to bed soon. I am very tired. Looks like you're quite used to peering into people's hearts, right? You don't see a problem in that, Tokyo? Yeah, I, I agree with Somia. I don't see a problem with that. Honestly, revealing all of my innermost feelings. <laughs> it feels pretty bad. It makes you feel vulnerable. Sorry. Well, we can't pick and choose right now. Let's keep going. I haven't finished my drink yet. I'm an orphan, and I never knew who my parents were. I was abandoned at the Reverie Hotel before I was old enough to remember anything. Maven, head of the Iris family, adopted me and raised me as a future star. I once achieved great success in my acting career, but in the end... The stage wasn't for me. I just couldn't fit in. Life under the spotlight was too much for me. I despised being in front of the camera, the never-ending interviews, and the mind-numbingly boring scripts. I'd rather be with those monsters than a rowdy crowd. You have nothing but bad winds. Oh, it's making the internet buffer even with Ethernet. Oh, are you still having storms? That sucks, Tokyo. I'm sorry. I long for a real family, like the Sweet Dreams troop. 
Hey, fucker, I'm the head of the I Not the Irish family, the Iris family, Tokyo. The Iris family, like the flower. Iris. Iris family. <laughs> yeah, they're simple and innocent kids. Being with them brings me peace and happiness. That's why I can't stand those who treat them as tools and boss them around. Fortunately, there are too many selfish and hypocritical people in the dreamscape, bullying the weak to boost their own pathetic egos. So I left the stage because I wanted to help them. You know what happened next? The dreamscape started collapsing, and the hotel got sealed by the family and became a spot infested by frenzy monsters. Wish.com Ireland. It's, it's not a place, but okay. I stayed here, searching for the abandoned Sweet Dreams troop members who are still sane. I established this lounge, making drinks for those monsters and finding ways to calm them down, hoping to change their fate. They're my most important family. I don't want to see them get hurt. It's time to face reality. Well, I'm so sorry, Siobhan. We shouldn't have doubted you. You've done so much for us. It is in your heart. Okay, that's fair, Tokyo. You do you. I'm sorry. I haven't been spending much time at the lounge lately, and I haven't had a chance to explain everything to you guys. The reason I entrusted the lounge to Dahlia for now is that I heard the family's plan to eliminate all monsters in the hotel in the dreamscape. To stop them, I need to regain the support of the Iris family. Mixing drinks, it's like having a conversation, but I couldn't do it well on my own. Look at you now, Siobhan. What happened to that boldness you had when you confronted the entire Iris family? Remember when you came to me all excited saying, Hey, Anarchy, I found a dog and it wants to come home with me. Now that you've decided to run this lounge, take responsibility for it. Somia, naughty or nice? What? What? Somia's nice. If you're asking, Somia is nice. Did I ever say I was running away, Emiki? Well, you've become quite the lecturer, haven't you? Happy to see you've grown more mature. Hey, don't try to change the subject. Let's go. We'll meet those hounds. Two more? Don't get in our way, whoever you are. Don't think you can stop the bloodhound family. Uh, sure, sure, he'll take nice. Oh, you don't really care who we are? Being too reckless will get you in trouble. Don't threaten me. Bloodhound family members will it's resolute as steel. Somia choose nice? Yeah. Some you chose nice. I don't mean to intimidate, but perhaps you could do the Iris family a favor? This lady, Amaki, is the favorite daughter of Lady Maven, head of the Iris family, and she's now a superstar in the dreamscape. Are you willing to listen to what I have to say for her sake? Hey, you talk as if you're not a core member of the Iris family. Do you really see yourself as just a random drinksmith? These monsters aren't aggressive at all. As you can see, a little scare is enough to frighten them. They won't pose a threat to the guest's safety. For the record, you have no idea and shall not be held liable for whatever Tokyo does. <laughs> That's fair. I feel like you just added your own little legal clause to this so you can't get in trouble. If Somia chose naughty, you're gonna about to drown. Aww. Well, thank you for sparing me. Even the Dream Jolt Troop, corrupted by Nightmare, can live in harmony with us. Those who are interested in those monsters and have visited the lounge will tell you the same thing. Ah, uh, Somya! Thank you for the drown. Thankfully, I have extra water here already. I was prepared. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna drink water. You guys gave me hope just to take it away. Uh, okay, I got through it all. You need water, you would never say no to that. That's fair. But still... I was like, ha, I survived a drowning just through you to be like, no. 
No. <sighs> and if you're truly interested, I can ask our family to speak with you guys, and I'm pretty sure her words will be more convincing, don't you think? Ah. Uh, man, my throat's actually starting to get sore. I don't know how people do this stream for more than a couple hours. Like, I know part of it's because at my job I teach, and I had to do, like, I talk to a lot of people. But damn, my throat is sore. Are you members of the Dream Jolt Troop who came here with them? It feels terrible to be treated like lifeless objects and bossed around, doesn't it? Well, you always have the choice to leave. You don't have to spend your life obeying their orders. All new members are welcome at Dream Jolt Holstery. Aww, he's happy. What's happening? The monsters are running away? Are they affected by the nightmare going frenzied? How are we supposed to carry out this task without them? They didn't become frenzied. They simply just don't want to follow orders anymore. They've realized that they have options other than being mere tools for the family. Why are you still here? Do you want me to say hi to your boss? No, of course not. We'll leave right now. Sorry for the disturbance. Well, I chose to stay in the desolate hotel in the dreamscape to stay away from the family issues. But in the end, I had to rely on the family connection to protect this lounge. That's why your idealism can't solve any problems, so stop being naive and be more realistic. Besides, you will fulfill what you promised me, right? Right? Sorry, to be honest, you completely forgot Drown existed and you drank water without any redeems. So you didn't redeem Hydrate. That's fair. I It might be a blessing that you forgot Drown, though, because knowing you, you would probably drown me a lot if you remembered about it. Between you and Tokyo, at least, I'd probably be drowned all the time. And then Max drowned me earlier. <laughs> Don't worry, have I ever lied to you? We'll discuss the business once you've taken care of everything in the lounge. Woof, but Siobhan? Those guys were right. We'll be corrupted by the nightmare one day, right? Yeah, nothing will change. I can't help get rid of the nightmare completely. I'm sorry. Woof, I didn't mean to blame you. Just like humans can get sick, members of the Sweet Dreams troop can be affected by negative emotions and become frenzied. Life is a process of constant change. And there's no permanent solution. Problems will always arise, and we'll keep solving them moment by moment. But no matter how much you all flip out here, I'll stay here and help you find yourselves. In my eyes, you're no different from me. I'll stay with you forever until the dreamscape collapses completely. Woof, thank you! Nope, not that cruel. Looks at the 12k points. Oh no. How long is my, uh... How long did I put that on a cooldown for? Did I increase it? I hope I did. Uh, oh, I missed reading a line. Uh, something, something, something. Don't you agree, new drink smith? Uh, sure. I don't know what I'm agreeing to. The dream jolt holstery may have returned to its peace and quiet, but not all matters were resolved, such as... Savan, this is not what we agreed on. Woof, well, you're starting to talk like me now. You should put it to once per stream. That would be better. Probably. But also the fact that uh, sometimes I do forget to drink water on stream. And that's part of the reason I added it. Is because it does force me to drink more water. We'll see. I'll, I'll have to think about it. Because, like, it is useful. I just don't want to have to go get up and get more water once I run out. <laughs> I'm lazy. Uh, we agreed I'd help you restore your relationship with the Iris family and keep this lounge. In return, you promised me to come back to the stage and perform together with me. But why, why are all the monsters' names listed in this promotional poster? Ace Dealer Spade, Melancholy Drama is Soda Bigwig. Lady Injustice, Steel Tin Man, and Starlet the Philosopher King. Put Pico on water duty. <laughs> he might steal my water, though. Your name isn't there. 
justice. Yeah, Tokyo. Ha, are you underestimating our performance skills, dear lady? Come to my show, and you won't be disappointed. What we agreed was that the owners of Dream Jolt Holstery would assist the Iris family in their performances. Said this lounge belongs to those monsters, they'll be participating in the show. Is that a problem? I've even decided to become an idol to save our lounge from closing down. You, you're being sly. <laughs> I've contacted the Bloodhound family. They've agreed to postpone the cleanup at the hotel in the dreamscape. In other words, these monsters will be safe and the dream holstery will continue to operate. Thank you for everything. If it weren't for you taking over as a drinksmith, I wouldn't have had time to deal with all the troubles within the family. Thank you. We really appreciate your help. I had fun mixing drinks. I knew you'd say that. Whenever you feel like it, feel free to drop by. You're always welcome here. Alright, now go make yourself an exclusive drink as a souvenir of your drinksmith career. And show me what you're really like on the inside. Oh no. Oh no! Alright. What kind of glass do we want? A really tall glass? With ice. Here we go again. <laughs> ah, oh no. Let's see. Ugly. I always end up doing like the same stuff. Just called your own color skew ugly. Well, it's ugly in drink form, okay? It's ugly in drink form. It's the drink has to be pretty. I think I've made this like so many times though. Mm. I feel like I just made the same drink with slightly different ingredients. No more licking, you are free. Oh no. You're safe for now. I'm pretty sure Soma is saying that is a promise and a threat. I hate the jams. They're not pretty. It's not a threat. That's a promise. Yeah. That's really pretty. Orange on the bottom, then purple. Hint of green. Okay, hold on. You're going too fast. Wait, 
this orange, orange on the bottom, and purple, hint of green, this one, and then mix. That's what you made, Tokyo. I don't like it. it it's not a pretty color. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, I don't want to do that. That was not planned. That's fine. I never even used this one. If you were expecting better. Yeah, I keep doing that too. That's why I keep mixing like a bunch of these together. And I expect better and then it's just like not. Green on the bottom, then orange. Okay. Green on the bottom. What does a hint of purple mean? Then orange. Then purple, and then finish it with red. Okay. Did you want me to mix it? Is this what you were expecting? That looks worse than the last one. <sighs> what about you, Somia? What colors do you want? We have many. Many colors. This one you call dehydrated feet. Oh no! Ah, uh, it's so hard to choose. Let's switch glass. Okay. Get a fancy wine one. Okay. Again, you have ADHD. Okay. You can just enjoy Tokyo telling me what to do then, I guess. This is kind of funny. One ice cube? Aw, oh, come on. I love ice, though. That's not true, actually. When I get drinks, I hate having ice. Okay. If I do less ice, I can, only, I can do three ice. Because it's a big glass. Okay. What's next? Oh, you thought it was just a huge cube. Yeah, that would be cool, but sadly not. Back we go. <laughs> okay. What kind of glass do you want? And then how much ice? Top right, the mini wine glass. Okay, and you want one ice cube? Okay, now remember, you can only choose three now. No, many? Oh my goodness. Okay, one uh, and many. Okay. We can only choose three, because this is a smaller glass. Stellar champagne. Okay. Red sunset. Okay. Hmm. 
mix now purple this purple the odd concoction any well, that's the only technically that's the only purple we have That's your drink. I can't mix again, so. No, I can't mix again. We only get one. <laughs> Somia says it's gross. It's uplifting! Look at that. Okay, let's play around with the bigger glasses, because those are fun. You can add more to it. Though the small ones are cute. We could do a small one, actually. Hold on. We can do this, like, medium one. Ignore the emote's name, but... Faces like that, like what the fuck? That's fair. Ah, that doesn't flow together very well. No, I don't like that. Nostalgic. It's an interesting color. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah. Very ill pee. Oh my goodness. Hmm... No. Let's go back to that big glass. Why would you make- I don't know! It just keeps happening, okay? That's just what the colors are making. We don't seem to know our colors very well. Are we cursed? Yeah, probably. I already don't like where that's going. Milk, pepper, syrup makes sunset. Let's see. Then milk. You want practitioner pepper? And then the syrup. And then mix. And then sunset. Oh, and you can choose one more. If you wanted to. That's actually really pretty. Hold on, that was actually kind of... One second. Look at how cute that is! Hold on. Hold on. One second. Somia's on to something here. What order was it? And then syrup? Look how cute that is! That is adorable. We're going with this. This is so cute. Somia, you made the most adorable drink. I love it. Add a lemon. That's pretty. A mint, a burb, 
I really do like the lemon. That's cute. Yeah, none of those. I like the lemon. I think, like, it's not perfect, but it's not bad. I think the lemon really more of just goes with, like, the decoration, like, the actual glass itself. It kind of ties it all together. The mint is also still cute. And the bur you're right, the burb is cute. I also would be very happy to get a burb on my glass. And it does say tailored for myself. Why isn't there a tato? I don't know. There just isn't one. Is that how you usually garnish your drinks? With a potato? Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. I'll have to try that someday. Uh, Alright. I think we're going to go with this one. I like this. Sew me a special drink. Tokyo adds potatoes to his vodkas. Furniture, doors, houses. All potato. Beautiful. Is the mixing done? I, for, I already forgot we were doing story. <laughs> this drink will be made specially for you. I'll add it to the Dream Holstery's drink menu. Customers will get to taste it, so you better consider your choice carefully. I pick this one. Glad you like it. Yeah, it's so pretty and cute. I love it. An interesting thought. Looks like Gallagher was right. It's always a surprise with you around. This special drink that belongs to you will be kept in the Dream Jolt Holstery drink menu. To commemorate those who will forever be our friends. You're always welcome, amazing drinksmith of Pentagoni. Yay! We did it! Big shot. Now I'm curious, can we actually... Is it actually there? Monst the monster's emotional troubles have all been resolved, but the lounge will keep going. If you feel like you haven't gotten enough tips, come back and serve more customers. Nice, so I can keep going if I want to. Submit tips. It's like, oh, if you haven't gotten enough tips, but I did. I completed everything. <laughs> I'll collect my rewards. Claim everything since I completed the event. Can you buy your drink? Oh, that's a good question. Let me find out. I wonder... Oh, I was hoping she would actually have a shop. Sometimes characters do. Let's see. It doesn't look like it's in here. I think, I'm guessing that people could order it. So, like, they could buy our drink. Dream oh, what did I? Yeah, memorable mix. Dahlia. Yay. So, I technically can't buy it, sadly. But it, I'm pretty sure that means that, like, if I were to keep playing, the monsters can order it. Which is nice. Oh, I forgot about this. I'm gonna have to think about that before I claim one of those characters. That looks nothing like what you made. Well, they had to choose a, um... I mean, do you realize how many different art things they'd have had to put up? If they had to make it match? That would be so much work for them. So much work. I mean, technically, they're all made anyway, I guess. But but the description was correct. Was it? I didn't even check. Now I gotta look again. Oh, yeah. Very sweet, strong, and very thick. Special drink name for us. What does the appraise button do? Oh, I can look at it! 
Oh, that makes me happy. You may leave this place, but your story will never be forgotten. Our adorable drink. I love it. Look at the burb. Yes! The adorable burb. We're gonna go look at it again. A praise. Burb! Alright, let's see. Still think a wine glass would have been better. <laughs> Maybe, but I think this is very cute. It's a cute small glass. I guess technically we could have put the same amount in a wine glass, but... I don't know, there's something... There's something nice about this, too. The glasses are really nice, so I like that they gave us options. Alright, well, I think I am very tired. So it is time to raid out. Um, is he live yet, though? McSwarrison, are you still here? Did you go live? No, he didn't go live yet. Mariner Hawk went live, though. McSwarrison, go live! I cannot raid you if you don't go live. Given how thick and sweet it is, I don't think people could have finished a tall glass. Fair. I probably wouldn't have been able to either. <laughs> the show must go on. No! And apparently he needed a reminder. He needs to go live so I can go to bed soon. <laughs> I'm very tired. I stayed awake so I could raid and see what they were up to. And then go pass out. <laughs> No sleep, but why? I don't want to stay awake. I want to go to bed. I'm, I'm very tired. I am much tired. My brain needs to do the sleep. But I also want a snack, so I'll stay awake long enough to get a snack. Tokyo, go to sleep. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Just send everybody to bed. Time to go to bed, everybody. All of us. Everybody in chat. We all must sleep. A good reason to go back to sleep. We're just gonna vibe here till McSwarlton goes live. And then we're gonna hang out while he sets up his stream. Okay. This drink is very adorable. I look forward to seeing like what all my friends make too. Those who play Honkai Star Rail. Seeing what kind of drinks they made. Fuck it right now. He's not live now. I can't raid now. Yeah, but I didn't just woke up. That's a key reason to go back to sleep. That's fair. Then we should all be there anyway. That's true. He'll, he'll be live soon. You just gotta get set up. Well, I'll go to the Mariner if you can't. You legit forgot getting ready. I'll wait. We're vibing. We're vibing. We got nice chill music. We got the company of our friends. And we have Burb. We are happy. Mariner is your dad. That's interesting. Good luck with that. Have fun. You also thought his name was Jimmy for so long. That's probably because none of us say his name on stream. I don't remember what his rules on that are. I think he's said his own name on stream before, though. I 
I just missed a phone call, which is fine because I don't answer phone calls. Just believe it's Jimmy and force it on everyone. <laughs> oh no. An ad break? What? I don't see an ad break. My Twitch is lying to me. Or at least I hope it's lying to me. Nope! I can see it on my other screen. It actually went to an ad break. I'm trying to end Twitch. Stop it. People have to sit through an ad just for me to read out. It's interesting. Sometimes Twitch will give me the option to be like, yeah, you can snooze. And then it'll be like, nah. Kind of make more money. You can't get the audio to work? Oh no. How do you stream a damn browser? Um, are you using OBS? Uh, if you're using OBS, you should be able to just add another source. And to catch the audio, just make another source for your audio to capture whatever window you're on. At least that's how I did it. I don't know if that's the best way to do it, but that's how I did it. And instead of changing any of my current audio setups, I just had one that captured the specific tab that I had open for the browser. I don't remember if there's any more steps. I haven't done it in a while. The only time I did it was for, um, when we were watching Sparkle's trailers, uh, and stuff. So since we're chilling anyway, what's up, Sophia? Remember your hair? Long enough for a small pony. Yeah, did you get a haircut? Did you go get it cut? I remember we were talking about that a while back. Or did you let it grow? Is that what you mean? You let it grow? Most of it turned straight, but the tips area is curly. Oh, that's cute. Your hair straight until the very tips of it. That's kind of adorable. Your hair is like, I want to be poofy. Just a little flare. Right at the end. You let it grow. Oh, okay. I get it now. Yeah. That's adorable. Apparently, you got a shout out, Sonya. Congratulations. <laughs> this is the most scuffed thing you've ever done. Oh no! Did you manage to get it to work? It's up at least. Yay! Oh, are you live? I didn't get a notification yet. My Twitch is also just like super glad. If it works, it works. Exactly. Exactly. Still trying to get Somia to 100 followers on Twitch. Good luck. Have fun with that. It seems like it might be a little hard. But he doesn't stream on stream, which makes it more fun. <laughs> Why? Answer Somia Tokyo. Why?
Cause I love you. Aww. What's that got to do with followers? You want a private life? Nice. I'm just throwing a little ending soon on here. So, oh, wait. Uh, I guess this corner's fine. Okay, we're just vibing. Just you and me and sunset walking on a beach. Aw, oh, that sounds nice. He's live! Let's go! I guess I should have done this slightly sooner. But thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you had fun as we mixed drinks, made friends. And now we're going to go join another friend for a watch party that I totally didn't look into before we're about to go join. Thanks for help with the audio. Yeah, no problem. Happy to help. But yeah, thank you all so much for joining. I hope you had fun. Um... I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.